Hey y'all barbers wake up man. So within my roster of clients, I have a great deal of entrepreneurs, right? And these entrepreneurs, they they pretty much utilize social media and it's pretty much the new way of uh thriving as an entrepreneur. And when I say they thriving, I'm not talking about um you know, doing a little side hustle. I mean, they quit their jobs and they actually are pursuing that in which they are pursuing, whichever entrepreneur endeavor it is, and they actually was able to, able to replace their primary income from a job with what they make as an entrepreneur. And some, some of them have exceeded that, right? In today's world, this is the new way that a lot of people are trying to go. They're trying to build their own brand. They're trying to be entrepreneurs, you know. And I'm in full support of that if you know what come with it. You know, I do believe that it ain't for everybody. However, there are a lot of people that's trying to go that route, right? And me being a barber slash entrepreneur, that is... It's something that I do believe in, right? It's something I talk to my clients about, and I ask them the questions, right? I ask them the questions. I get a lot of game. Y'all wonder how I grow on social media. Y'all wonder how I'm able to sell my books, how I'm able to make an income from online as well. I learn from these people, and I teach them things as well, right? We bounce ideas, right? Now, <clears throat> these people shared a few things with me throughout their journey. I've watched some of them literally quit their job and start their entrepreneur journey, go through the hard shit and actually build it up and thrive, right? And, and you know this ain't gonna be everybody because there's only a few people that's willing to do that. I asked these people some questions and I talked to them a lot. Here's a few things that I see that's consistent with these people. None of them know each other, but they all are thriving the same way within social media. So here's three major things that my entrepreneur clients taught me, and I'm going to share with y'all, and hopefully it help you if you're trying to thrive using online in whatever business or services that you're trying to give. And of course, we can use this as barbers, right? And some of these... In, Actually, all these things I've used myself. So, number one, and I got them written down on my phone. Y'all know how I do. Number one is uh, social media, right? Um, of course, they're using social media, but they're not using it like the typical person. I have people all the time say, I'm starting my side business, or I'm doing my side hustle, or I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do that. But what they haven't did was actually post it online none. they don't take social media serious you don't see them posting consistent consistently man i can't tell you how many times people came in here and gave me business cards but you know i don't see what they doing like you go to their social media and you see the post was you know a week ago two weeks ago a month ago was they uh last post right and that's not gonna cut it but these people that I'm telling you that's thriving, they are posting on social media consistently, as you see that I do, right? You look up shit two, three times a day. You know what I'm saying? And whatever it is they're doing, whether it's catering services, whether they're a mechanic, whether they are, um, you know, so they do some type of uh, financial uh, services or whatever, they're posting consistently every day right and like i said some of them even a couple times a day even with um using tiktok some of them use instagram some of some of them youtube some of them twitter or whatever right because there's different platforms that you can use in order for you to um thrive on right everybody's platform ain't gonna be the same right However, 
whichever platform they chose, they chose to be consistent on it, right? So if you trying to thrive these days as an entrepreneur using social media, you may want to post every day. Because if you don't, you're behind the ball. This is what these people are doing. I ain't talking to you about no shit I heard in no podcast. I ain't talking to you about nothing. I'm talking about shit that I did and things that my entrepreneur clients that's thriving did, right? I really don't supposed to be telling you this shit, but I'm telling you, this is something that they do. So if you want to thrive in that space, you damn sure better get to posting on social media. Post pictures of what you do. Get the best, crisp, clear angles and videos that you can get. You know, use all these different apps to beautify this shit and put it online every single day. You see what I'm saying? That's one thing that they do. Now, number two, they tell a story. Everybody has a story. Everybody's story is not the same. Everybody's story is unique. Everybody has their audience that's going to be attracted to that story of that particular individual. Most people are too insecure. They are scared to tell their story online because they're afraid of other people's opinions. You literally have no idea how many people that rock with your story. It's around 7, 8 billion people on the planet. Listen, all you need is, what, 50 to 100,000 of those people to tap in and tune into you. That's your little world. Trust me, it's 50 to 100,000 people that will hear your story and actually rock with you. Yes, you're going to have haters. Yes, you're going to have all that. But these entrepreneurs, including myself, we posted our story. And that is typically what I see that take their social media over the edge. Everybody's always asking how to make engaging content and all that. But really, you just need to tell your story, right? And if you're too afraid to do that, then don't worry about catching uh, the attention of all the people that will like your brand. And the purpose is to build a personal brand and that personal brand makes money in multiple ways. Whatever business or service you have gonna make money through your personal brand because these people rock with the person that you are and they like your story, right? You, and I use this tactic learning it from clients and I teach other clients to do it too that's on their entrepreneur endeavor and some of them don't even use it because they're afraid to tell their story which I understand some people don't want their business out there but just understand you're not going to grow if you look on my Instagram you see my story my TikTok my personal Instagram as well even on YouTube I got a reel where I tell my story about my mama leaving me abandoned I talk about some of the family issues I had I talk about me being a cycle breaker in my family this thing got over a million views on each platform. And when I posted that, it pushed my followers like all the way over the, over the edge, right? 50K, well, 40K plus, right? I'm up to 106K on my personal Instagram. My barber Instagram, 40 some K. But back when I posted my, my, my story, that had jumped me around that time to maybe, you know, 28K or something like that. On my TikTok, almost 40K followers. That thing got a million views on there because I told my story. Most people would be afraid to tell a story. And my entrepreneur clients did the same thing. Along with the brand that they building on their social media, they told their story in a one minute or a minute 30 second clip. And then they got a plethora of followers from that because a lot of people mess with the person that they are a lot of people like the person that they are they like that story that story touched them or they can relate to it and they decided to follow them this is a key a lot of people um don't understand that and see that does nothing but extend your personal brand to more people now they want to see what you got for sale and they want to see what you do for a living now you can make your money right now your brand stand for some because it stands for you and your story and what you may have endured and overcame in your life. <clears throat> and that's different for, for, for everybody and it's unique, right? But I noticed that all of my entrepreneur clients that's thriving using social media with whatever brand or service they have, 
They told their story and that always pushes them over the edge, right? So number three, all right, they're intentional about the people that they target online as far as customers, right? Let me break that down to you. I got a client with a cater catering service. He uses hashtags to attract a specific audience of people that don't even go with his brain. He's not trying to attract other caterers to follow him like some of y'all barbers are attracting other barbers to follow you or your stylists attracting other stylists to follow you. He has some hashtags that's targeting the exact demographic of people he's looking to service, right? So it can pop up in their algorithm. You see, I have a client that uh, sell clothes, right? He uses his content to attract the audience that's going to buy his clothes. He put out a reel that uh, he compared a pair of Nike shorts to the shorts that he have. That ran him over a million uh, views right there. Blew him up on sales. You see what I'm saying? Uh, as far as myself, I target other barbers because I sell products to barbers. But I also, before I start targeting barbers, I was targeting clients until I reached my goal of a certain amount of clients. So I've always targeted exactly who I wanted to get. Back when I was cutting inside the shop, I knew I was cutting around colleges. I targeted that specific college. I hashtagged that college, right? I went into that college pages and started putting my comments there and stuff, right? I targeted a specific audience of people. And now I target barbers because I sell my eBooks, you know, and I, uh, and I sell my courses and, and, and my mentorships, right? We target those specific audiences, right? I got a client that's a mechanic. He do this online. He targets uh, uh, people and he get clients that way. Listen, using online, you cannot be just putting things out because you want to be seen, because you want clout, right? And I know it's when it comes to the barber space, a lot of barbers want other barbers to follow them right a lot it's like why do you want another barber to follow you if you don't have nothing for sale for a barber if you're trying to build your clientele you try and get people into your chair you need to be targeting them you need to be specific about the exact type of client that you're trying to get and you need to find the way to target them use your social media to target that people where do they hang out at line or, I mean, where do they hang out online? Where, what content they are tapped in online, right? This shit is very specific and you have to target that, right? So those are the three major things that I see my entrepreneur clients use in order to be successful with their, uh, uh, on their entrepreneur journeys, right? And they're using online they're using social media i don't care if their service is not online or they don't have a digital product however they still know the power of online this is something that everybody's trying to do right these people tend to have their down pack if you look at uh what i've done i got that down pack right um we use that to grow i get the game i give the game now i'm giving the game to y'all those are three major things Try that out on your journey, right? These are gems, I'm telling you. A lot of people try to keep this shit to themselves, but I want you to know that. And this ain't no Momo Jumbo, this flat out real game. These are things that I've, look, I've seen people quit their job and go through the hard part, right? The ugly grind. But they say, man, I'm thriving using my social media is how I'm going to attract my clients to my business, my services, my products. And this is all I'm going to do. And they went in and we talk about that along their journey. Right. And I'm telling you, so these things I'm telling you, man, this is real talk and I use them as well. You don't see me with all these followers and subscribers and all this stuff for nothing. Right. I use what I learn and I also teach it to other people. So number one is utilizing social media posting every day or whatever 
Number two, tell your story. Stop being scared. Tell that goddamn story. And number three is they intentionally target their uh, the type of people that, you know, they want to service or sell their products to or whatnot. You know, take these things with you. Use it. Like this video if you found it valuable. Subscribe. And I'm going to do more like this because I want to really get you out of the game. I can go so many levels. I can go so deep with this right make sure you subscribe and just stay posted when i post some more content man y'all wake y'all asses up